Hey folks, and welcome to a new, well, no, it's not going to be a series, it, uh, it could be, uh, if you're interested, um, but it's something that I've started playing lately, and it's kind of a unique um, <coughs> experience. It's really hard to, to sum up into words to uh, what exactly this uh, game, if you want to call it that, really is. So I decided we've got to take a look at it. It's called Space Station 13. Um, also known as Space Station 12. I really don't know what the difference between the two are. Two are. Um, yeah, there's going to be an issue. Uh, because there are multiple windows, um, you'll tend to have these things pop outside of the window. Um, most of it, ooh, until I did that, most of it would be in the screen, so you're not really going to miss it a lot. I try to keep as much in the screen as possible. Uh, at the start, you can choose a character. Um, but really, the uh, appearance um, is not going to be too valid in the game, and you'll kind of see why uh, as we go on. We'll go with that, that will do. It's our character, actually, it's our character's name. It's going to be something that's a bit more um, important, and it is just outside of the screen. Uh, name will, game will tend to give you a random name. Uh, we are named as Isaiah Quinn, that's something kind of. Uh, bit too much, so we'll go with Bruce uh, Shoe Strain. Alright, my name is Bush, Bruce Shoe Strain, and we'll join the game. Again, um, some of this might be potentially cut outside the window. Now we get the opportunity to choose a profession. Um, different games will give you different um, professions to choose from. If you join the game from the start, you will also get to, uh, uh, you'll randomly be assigned a profession, and then usually something that's kind of going to be important to it. Um, basically, if the numbers here, from what I can gather, are how many are really required. So these things, are like, if there's a one next to it and there's nobody there, that's going to be something really important to do. Um, but at the moment, any of them that have got a number, other than a security officer, and that's kind of surprising that no one's going as a security officer at the moment. Um, but yeah, these are the available positions, and there's usually more, um, sometimes less, depending on what game you join and then what they're feeling like doing. Um, it's relatively common to see security officers because they kind of have a lot of power in the game. They, um, are the only character really that starts off with the opportunity to have weapons and stuff like that. Um, but for the sake of showing you around, I'm going to go with something really simple and just go with the janitor. So. This is a character that's got very little um, demands on it, and usually the screen's actually a lot bigger than this. In fact, um, hold on a second, uh, it's going to boost it for you, but um, there's not really a feasible way I can really do that. I'm normally playing on full screen, and um, again, you'll be given a lot more detail on full screen, but anyway... Uh, we're playing on a small screen mostly, so uh, the file doesn't become extremely big, uh, extremely quick. Uh, but next time, actually, I record on full screen because I'm not too worried about that personally. So, quick overview: this is kind of our HUD. Um, next time, actually, I will probably will just record this part, um, even though you'll see here this is the dialogue uh, box. We can talk uh, by typing "say." And if we add a space, we'll say what we're going to say. If you do me, space, that's an action, so you can say, you know, washes the floor or something like that, even though I'm actually meant to do that anyway. Um, so there's a lot of RP elements to it. And since I'm a janitor, I'm meant to play as a janitor. So something like, my character's obviously going to be from lower class background, something like that. Um, and people playing the game will generally want you to RP uh, as well as possible. But of course there's an interactive function to it. I mean, obviously there's this screen here where I'm walking around. It's obviously somewhat limited, but uh, you have the inventory here. We've got our cleaning materials. We have a light replacer, somebody smashes the lights out. We have a space cleaner, which obviously is for cleaning, which is going to be our main tool, really, uh, as a janitor. Uh, and you can pick up stuff and interact with things as well. Um, every item basically has a purpose in some regard. So, at the moment, these are kind of the main hall that leads into, uh, well, th this, I'd say, really is the hall that leads into the main area. 
uh, security is up there, so if we chose one of the security guards, uh, we'd be starting in this direction. And it seems like one of the lights is out, um, but we won't actually be bothering with that since this is just really a quick show for what this game is and what it really has to offer. Um, now the purpose of this game is really to uh, try keeping the space station running uh, as smoothly as possible. Uh, again, everybody's got their positions to do, uh, jobs to fulfill and stuff like that. Um, and primarily there'll be a research um, department, and they tend to be the, uh, the major um, holders of the power, I guess. They're, they're, they're supposedly in the game's lore, I guess. So there's one person in a wheelchair. Uh, that the the um, one thing quickly is if you want to, this one is one of the things that took me the longest time to figure out. Um, this is a car, as in it drives you around. Um, it's the same with chairs. While you can sit on a chair like that, um, you can strap yourself in, and then there's a scene later on in the game. Um, I don't know. If it's unlikely to be shown in this video. Uh, but you wouldn't want to buckle yourself to the chair and you can also buckle other people to chairs if you're working in the hospital you'll likely want to buckle someone to a bed um, you can also do that as a detective again to restrain or a security guard to restrain someone but in this case we're just hopping on the gym to cut so you basically just drag yourself onto it um, also things that you find in the game world that can be opened uh, like uh, backpacks or um, like these janitor belts, or security belts, or medical belts. Um, they also, if you drag them onto you, you'll open them and see what's inside them. So as I was saying, uh, the research department is kind of the primary department of the space station. Um, again, there's multiple other departments that have strong roles as well. But often there'll be people, uh, there's usually a traitor role, somebody will be assigned as a traitor, um, We've got a, if you're a chief medical officer or something like that, a uh, security, a captain of the ship, or have a higher up position, you can make announcements. Um, they cover to everyone, so everyone can see it. But it's usually to your department, so your department will know, um, yeah, basically. Well, this is actually um, uh, for all people, but again, it's just it's something so you can talked if you're a chief medical officer you're basically running this department so you want everybody to uh, listen to what you're saying this is saying there's a trader there's usually a trader and sometimes multiple traders and their job well, generally to be to destroy a ship um, sometimes it could be something more random um, one of the games I was playing the trader's job was to uh, paint the entire ship purple uh, before it was evacuated and quite a difficult one since as you see uh, we've barely explored the entire ship and it's quite a vast place and because uh, the other issue is uh, depending on your department as I'm a janitor I've actually got very little access so I was even surprised that I had access to the security area uh, see I won't have access to medical I can't get in there uh, that's because you know my access is only so valid but as a janitor uh, if I say can you let me in please most of the time they'll be happy to as uh, obviously my role is to clean up the place I'm, I'm kind of meant to be unthreatening um, I'm obviously meant to go around to every department and check up and make sure everything's clean and in ship shape condition so they should let me in if I, if I just asked um, this is the server I tend to play the most on it's something like best RP server uh, was at the start in this kind of section here um, again this is just a really quick overview of what there is and again I, I did choose a profession that was least interesting um, at the moment it really doesn't seem much is going on anyway uh, as uh, we have somebody over here you can also right click on things uh, we right clicked on this person who's named Pooper Dooper for some reason and we can click examine uh, he's got a profession clown now, one of the things about this game um, is because you're playing RP, uh, you're meant to kind of not suspect people straight away, but the problem is the clowns are usually the ones who are uh, the, the traitors, and somebody that's trying to destroy the ship, and a clown will most often be somebody dangerous, somebody who's looking causing trouble of some sort, even if it's just a really plain, boring trouble, you know. 
you know, sometimes they'll just be dropping bananas all over the place so people trip up on them. Uh, but in this case, um, like, uh, sorry, like I said, since it's RP, at this point I'm, I just saw the clowns stand there, so obviously they haven't do it, done anything, so I'm not in the right to just go there and attack them and say, hey, I'm saving the ship, it's a clown, you know, they're going to do something bad. So you really need to play this as straight as possible. And as it says, it's got all the different things they're wearing. Uh, this is sections over here, what you're wearing. Uh, everybody always starts off with a radio headset in the air. Uh, that way you can talk on the radio, which are these announcements here. Uh, the ones we're receiving on the radio. But also if you type say, and then do a semicolon there. Um, whatever you say afterwards uh, will be announced over the radio system. So everybody on the ship, as long as they've got that in the air or uh, near to a radio um, system, which is one there, you see on my mouse, uh, that's a fire alarm, uh, you, they will hear it coming out of these speakers, but uh, if they don't have it in the air and they're over quite far away, uh, they won't hear it. Um, other problems with the ship, of course, is we're in space, so if any damage come, happens to anything external, uh, people are going to get sucked into the space, or at the best case scenario, they're going to run out of oxygen. Um, so everybody also comes equipped with, uh, uh, let's see, now I can't drive my thing, you've got to have the key in your hand to drive it, um, go to here, and everyone's got to start off with a box as well, and inside the box, if we drag it onto ourselves, we have an air tank and a uh, breath mask, so if we ever get into a situation where oxygen is getting sucked out, we do have something that will protect us. And it's not uh, a rare occurrence to see people just walking around with them pre-equipped, uh, pre-paranoid uh, that somebody's going to run past any moment and uh, blow up a hole in the brig and, uh, and suck us all off into space. And there's several areas you can just walk out on and have that happen to you as well. Uh, this is the chapel. I'm going to give a quick overview of the sections. Um, Theoretically, there'll be funerals held here. Um, uh, it's a kind of a section I've never really seen being used. Uh, I, I've seen it being used once or twice. Uh, this leads off into, I guess, what we would call a shuttle waiting room. When an emergency shuttle is called, this is where you'll go. Uh, it takes 10 minutes to arrive once it's called. And uh, from what I can tell, or from what I've read, uh, the shuttle is only called by what's known as the AI and somebody's elected or somebody chooses to be the AI they're not given their role like this they'll just watch over the ship and make sure everything's okay and people will tell them certain things so say if I was a janitor and I wanted to clear the medical department uh, but nobody was at the door and I, I could see there was something dirty in there I could say AI can you open the door and uh, they'll do it um, again because of my role they'd be more than likely happy to open it up for somebody like me, or say a security guard or somebody like that, who would have good reason at least to go into that department. Um, but they're the only ones that can call the shuttle. Anyone else at all can stop the shuttle from being called, um, meaning we'll return back to base and the AI will need to call it again. Uh, but the, the shuttle should really only be called in a situation where uh, all hope is really lost. They're not going to... We've got some wardens here, and uh, we've got some another medical doctor and a blue shield so we've got some protection now at least uh, if anything goes wrong uh, so the shuttle should only really be called in uh, times where like all hopes lost there's many holes in the ship there's no engineers to repair these holes and stuff like that uh, so this is the research department um, there are many areas of the research department such as kind of genetic area um, robotics, there's the head of research <coughs> which I had been previously um, when I played uh, it's kind of meant, like I said, it's meant to be the main area, because there's several areas that will do different types of research and it's one of the only areas that really has this kind of progression uh, idea to it uh, there's one other area <coughs> that I really know of that has the same sort of thing which I've played in before uh, which is in the medical offices um, also, I guess mining as well is a mining department um, that also has kind of a role where you actually feel like you're progressing somewhere, whereas everyone else is kind of reliant on everyone else. 
Um, you know, the medical office is only really going to be important if uh, there's somebody sick. But like I said, there's a viral office. Um, for some reason, these doors are open. They shouldn't be because uh, the thing with the medical office is it's got lots of uh, drugs in it. It can use those drugs to be put into drinks, uh, food, stuff like that, and potentially poison the crew. And it's especially good if you're, like I said, the trader. So if you're the trader, this is a good place to get into or sneak into any way possible. And like I said, because you're the, uh, if you're the janitor, for example, and you're the trader, um, from what I've read, it's, uh, the janitor's meant to be relatively hard to be the uh, trader as, but like I said, because you should theoretically have access to all areas, um, it's not too bad because people are more than likely going to let you in there. You know, you, you, because we're RPing here. Um, it wouldn't be unusual for the janitor to say, can I come in there? I just need to check if everything's clean. There's an engineer, I think. Everything's quite small, so I can't really tell. Um, like I said, there's a security department up here. Up here is also prisons and things like that. So if anyone misbehaves, they can put in prison. And again, because it's RP, there'll be things like court cases and stuff like that going on as well. Um, if you're not happy with the position you're given, uh, make sure I'm going the right way, I'm actually kind of disoriented now, um, might be this way, I think it might be here, no that can't be it, uh, well there's an area, I'm kind of disoriented, pretty sure it's around here somewhere, I got the feeling it must be there, um, in this room here, uh, but I can't really tell, uh, there's meant to be a uh, head of personnel, and that person's job is kind of human resources, they're there to, you know, say, oh, I don't want to be a janitor anymore. I can go to them and say, I now want to be a, a research, I want to research robotics. Um, again, since this is RP, uh, a janitor is unlikely to move up the chain that fast. If I was a janitor, I could say maybe security. Um, and it's slightly climb up the chain because, uh, yeah, again, they're, they're trying to, People are trying to play this off as realistic as possible, and it might sound a bit stupid, but that's kind of the charm to it, uh, that there's this kind of realistic world going on that everyone's playing into, um, that you can't just do things for the sake of doing them. I mean, there's a lot of free world. There's a lot of times I've just smashed things through things. These are windows. Uh, these actually grills, um, reinforced windows uh, go around it, and times I've just smashed through them, uh, usually to get somewhere. I think I was a doctor one time, and someone had a heart attack and I had to smash through the window in order to uh, resuscitate them. Uh, you get weird situations like that frequently. There's another security guard over there. Then Black Death, what a clever name. It's not as good as Bruce Shoestring, but, um, or Shoestrain or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting game. This is the uh, chef's area. Another area, again, you, you always kind of rely on someone else, and there's very rarely a chef there because it's such a boring job. Same with, uh, if you go in here, you get the bar. Um, uh, same with a bartender, you usually have a bartender here. Again, it's kind of a boring job. You tend to only rely on people coming in for uh, RP, sort of uh, uh, additional personalities. I don't know. I've never actually seen this before. Um, but I'm assuming this means you can change uh, more professions, maybe? I'm not too sure. Um, or, or maybe um, somebody, if somebody wants to get an AI, actually, and they look at it. I, I'm still reluctant to use this game, so people who play this regularly are probably going, you fucking moron. Um, that actually may be, because um, the personal AI devices for uh, if you're AI, or, or if you're choosing AI or something like that, I believe, again, I could be wrong. Uh, this is just going by what lift I know of this game so far. Uh, apparently there's AI there anyway, so AI didn't touch telescience. Um, this area is the bottom, this area, this area is also relatively important. Um, it's not hugely important, but by that I mean uh, it's going to become one of the most common supplies of food. If you're a botanist, your basic job is to plant trees, but um, there's also cows and chickens to look after, and you you kind of cross breed breed plants and create new things. Uh, it's also a thing that can go horribly wrong, and uh, 
much like the virologist, which I was one time, um, it can result in something nasty being spread through the, uh, the, the space station. When I played as a virologist, which I've only done once, um, my sector exploded um, suddenly just after I happened to create a really bad virus and uh, when people went in to revive me slash fix the area uh, the virus ended up spreading very quickly so um, I was kind of guilty for being there and the reason the shuttle was uh, called during that round um, that's, that's the kind of thing that makes the game quite fun to play though it's just these sections that are really over the top and stupid and there's a lot of sections that I still don't know what I, they are, like this one for example, I actually have no idea. It looks like it's a paperwork table, table uh, area, um, but really I have no idea. Uh, uh, I haven't been every single role yet, I've been kind of the basics. Uh, you, medical doctor is the one I usually find the most interesting. Oh, somebody's knocked out over there. weird situation going on. Uh, that's uh, the clown. So the clown's obviously done something troubling. Uh, head of personnel, Dennis Field froze up. Who's uh, uh, this guy here? Uh, Dennis Field's apparently got uh, some sort of disease or maybe he's drunk too much. I can't really tell. Um, head of personnel probably shouldn't have the authority to do something like that. Uh, they're restraining the clown. Or the clown's chasing them. But either way, they know that the clown has stole its mask. Um, the clown's are kind of a fun role to be because you can be over the top as possible. Um, you can just scream things at random. Um, and kind of the motto of the clown seems to be honk. You, you tend to see honk happen a lot, especially if there's multiple clowns on the ship. You'll likely get your, um, your uh, chat box here just filled up with the word honk over and over and over again. Um, who's this? Soy Hussein is a research director. So they've got the job that I had, which was you're the overseer of the research department. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually doing any research uh, yourself. You kind of oversee the department. And there's a lot of positions like that where you're the overseer for it. Uh, you can be the chief medical officer again. You're, you can... I mean, again, there'll be no disagreement if you started doing operations on people, stuff like that. Uh, but your primary objective in the RP world is to uh, just constantly make sure everyone else is doing their fucking job. Uh, and research directors like that themselves. And, and more so because the research area can so easily go wrong, uh, you're there basically to make sure it doesn't go wrong. Mean stuff in this area. Um, it's kind of uh, main sort of area electronics, I think. Uh, if, I, if I'm correct, I can't really remember. Um, when I was the research director, this area exploded, so uh, things went wrong quite quickly. Uh, it wasn't, be from what I could tell, it wasn't from the person, but we had kind of a clown epidemic during that uh, occasion. There's a lockbox there, and uh, apparently there's something in it. Stun revolver is in this lockbox. Oh, sorry, I put the key into the lockbox. It's meant to be uh, one for a stun revolver. Anyway, um, oh, fuck, my key's in it. Bloody hell. Gotta get my key out so I can drive my pimpin' rod once again. And uh, it's too small to see, but that does say pussy wagon. So the game's got a bit of humor to it. And from what I know, it's done by uh, a lot of this game was uh, influenced or uh, performed by um, something or full goons. Anyway, that's just a quick overview of it. If you want me to, um, I'd be more than happy to play a full game. They can go on for quite some time if everything goes right or there's minimal people playing it. Right now, I'm not sure how many people are playing. Um, but, obviously with more people, there's more chances something can go wrong. Um, this, this person is asking for help, so... Uh, there's 
seems to be a bit of a delay. Oh, I can see. Um, uh, this person I've encountered before, and you can actually change things about your character, uh, like have prosthetic eyes and prosthetic arms and stuff like that. Uh, this person tends to always roleplay role somebody with prosthetic arms. Now, obviously, there must be some issues with those. Because uh, I had to treat this person before, but uh, when I began treating the shuttle, it was called, so I kind of had to bail out on it. Um, so, sorry if you're watching. Uh, Yuki Yuri, uh, sorry that I didn't fix your arms, uh, but the shuttle was um, leaving at the time. Anyway, uh, like I said, if you want me to do a kind of full game of it, which can last some time, so they have to split up to multiple parts, um, do do just uh, say so in the comments, say if you want to see a full version of this. Uh, they are just hugging me, I was wondering what was going on there. And who is this? Tolka Fastrider. And their position on the strip is... Chief Engineer. They look so they're obviously just going to shower or something like that. Um, I'm guessing they've done a bigger profile for themselves. Um, something I'm not really bothered with. I always just tend to go with random names. I believe you can set a permanent name for yourself and permanent personality. As I like I said, I've seen that uh, a few of these people at the same time. Uh, Sawyer, for some reason. Uh, what's Hostile? Red Epics. Well, anyway, um, again, thanks for watching and bye for now. And comment below if you want me to play a full version of this. Cheers.